It opened 19 years ago, and soon the Crow Bar became London's most legendary rock bar. Its story is told in this new documentary, the beer-soaked jewel of Soho's metal community. But like so many bars, because of COVID, that story ends badly. The bar closed last year. It's hoped this new film will help a crowdfunded campaign for it to reopen. We heard the news of the crowbar um, and for some reason that upset me a bit more than the other ones. I don't know why. And then I saw Richard, the owner, put a post on uh, Facebook that had like a gravestone saying RIP, killed by landlords, I think it said. And he put a very emotional post up and I read it and I thought there's a story to be told. I'm hoping that inspires other people to kind of rekindle that spirit of rock and roll where kids just pick up a guitar, start making some music, maybe people want to pick up a camera and start making something and rekindle that, um, that creativity which is the very heart of British culture. And when fans of the bar got in touch with the filmmakers it became clear what a loss it would be if the venue never returned. We had this lovely almost sort of family atmosphere in the crowd everybody knew each other and you could walk in if you didn't know anybody when you arrived you certainly knew people by the time you left i think the documentary will will you know really bring that home to people just the, the loss in the documentary richard describes how he feels soho has changed once a music mecca for bands like black sabbath and the sex pistols now a realm for property developers and new builds he and many others fear that music venues will continue to struggle even when COVID is over. We as an industry need to know information about individuals so that we can manage risk. So an area like Soho, we want to do a risk management on all the bars and the venues that are in there. How much of the population going there have actually been vaccinated? We don't know that at the moment. So there's a really key thing for government to do, which is to start giving individuals information. Crowbar's crowdfunder has already raised £40,000. If it's true that rock and roll never dies, there is some hope it will soon find a new home. Carolyn Sim, ITV News.